cool. See that? You see that? Mm hmm Why do you put it in, them in there? Because I think they're cool. That's kind of like your shell. I got another one, I think, right over here. Oh yeah, there's one right here. Are you going to put the other one in this wall? Well, it's now done. that the walls are done, I can't. Because when I poured the concrete inside the form, I took that little fossil and I put a little bit of glue on it and I glued it to the outside of the form so that when that concrete went in there, it was just stuck there and I took the forms off and the fossil was still there. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> it's a double two by four wall. Which creates... All blow in. So you've got... Inexpensive insulation. Yeah. An easy chase to wire. You get a, a thick wall. You get shade pockets for electric shades. So, not here yet, but see this wire? Yeah. There's a switch on the wall that lets the shades go up and down. So, where did that design come from? Where did you... I Me mean, and my architect. Said, hey, this, this is Let's what you should do. This. Let's yeah. do this. Right. It'll be unique. It's different. You know what's funny from the outside is you look at this house, you would have no idea it's as big as it is. Right. We'll look, we'll look at it from the outside. From the side. <laughs> and then, this is where the butterfly roof happened. Yeah. This is right when we're skateboarding on the roof. This yeah. is... I was skating on the subfloor too until we put tile down. That was the end of that. So then, yeah, the pretty big kitchen. There's a pantry with another seat. I mean, you are so close to being... Ready to move in. And this is a fantastic house. Thanks. The best thing about the, the best thing about this house is when you bring over future clients. I know. And you're like, they're like, Nate, build us one of these. Yeah. Nate. Hey, hey, don't hey me. Joker. <laughs> the other thing we got, I also have to say, like, hey, just so you know, this is expensive. This wasn't inexpensive. Yeah. So see this. We're not gonna pour a patio out here. And that structural wall had to happen. So I'm gonna build a bench on that. That's that, all poured in. So the bench will like miter and go all the way out there and you got a view of the grand from your porch. I like the decorative vents. That's cool, huh? Yeah, it's way better There's than a cheap, cheap pla right plastic there. garbage. It, it was also a problem because this foundation, this, this wall goes to the footing. Yeah. And so I had to penetrate for a lot of reasons and that was a way to solve the venting. You know, that was a big project building those little minions. I spent a lot of time in my welding shop making those things. <laughs> I still have to paint the soffit black. Yeah. I still have to clear coat the cedar. I did all the steel work. Yeah, all the brackets are fantastic. Thanks. So this is the real front door right here. So that's going to be like a little parking area. There's a ditch that comes through here and I'll just do like a walkway from the parking area over to here. Yeah. So how many, how many acres? Three <laughs> tons. So somebody wanted to add a barn or I can, because you're limited to, is it setbacks? I can have like a, a thousand square foot guest house and that's about it. Maybe I could have one other little farm building. So, and that's in the it's CC and R's. It's because the county only allows you to develop a certain percentage of a lot. And this place is like the tightest you can ever imagine for all that, you know. So this, this is a fantastic house. And the thing I like about it is there is, is the architectural detail. And there's so many cool design things in it. Here's a powder room. That's a heck of a powder room. And then this is like a... This will be a bunk bed, see? Like even like, I started searching online for this and they were all expensive and shitty. So I was like, I'm gonna build my own, you yeah, know? And it turned out great. Looks good. Yeah. So we'll have bunks. Each one gets an outlet with a little lamp. You know, that's the other thing about being able to wire your own scene. Is that you, you can't can... like just tell your electrician, this is what I want and have it work out yeah. the way you want it to. Cause those guys are widely. 
you know. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Or, yeah, I'm not doing that. We never do that. Oh, uh, that's extra. This is like the hotel bedroom. So we built like little luggage shelves. And they get a nice bathroom, you know. So, guest room. Yeah, this would be like the, yeah. Nice shower, nice toilet. What, what do you, is there? I still have to, so where timber meets concrete, I have to do chink. And where timber meets drywall and concrete meets drywall, I'm using one inch by quarter inch poplar, pre-finished with a paint color, and I'll just trim everything. Yeah. Because when you try to mud into all this, It'll make a mess. It just doesn't work out and, that well. And things are going to move around. Yeah, it just doesn't crack. You know. So I decided not to do that. So I'm just going to trim it. This would be my daughter's bedroom. She gets a closet and a nice bathroom and a door. And so she... There'd be a little patio out there, you know. How... But this is the other side of the house. Yeah. Any worry with kids being that far away? This really isn't a like, hey, we've got little kids' house. It's not the market. This right. is not a starter home. This is this is a vacation home or retiree. Right. Yeah, I'm all about the one level. Um, For that reason. So I really like the one level, but as many kids as I've got, yeah. I don't, I need the space, and it's cheaper to go up than How out. Many kids you have? So for, for Jackson, this is, especially right now, these are the kind of houses that are selling like as modern as possible. Why is it? It's just the, the you trend? Know why? Here's why. A log house, people finally caught on, costs a fortune to maintain. Yeah, yeah. They move, they, they shift. This, the maintenance on this house will be minimal. Yeah. And... It's unique. Everybody's got a log cabin. And flies can't move into my walls. Yeah, I... You and know... Mice can't find a way through my chink. You know? Yeah, you're sealed up tight. Yeah. Was, was there... Now that you're done, now you're 99%, what would you do different? Are there, is there some... I would have hired more help and spent more money. Really? I work too hard. My body is, like, wrecked because of this. And it took, it, you've been on this three? Three years. Three years. Three years of drinking from the fire hose. It's too much. It would have been worth another hundred grand for a bunch of help. Yeah. And Even if you just. do a mortgage, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so you think it's worth it to pay for the help and get to a point. No, so, so also, also to not get sucked into something for three straight years. Because you could have made the hundred grand back by being done and going to work for somebody else. But it's a little different when it's like a full-on owner build and you're trying to minimize the payment. And yeah, you're playing this, this back and forth and game. Got, so let me, let, here's the big question. Would you do a mortgage? Yeah. And just be done? No, you're crazy. Why? Um, because you end up paying twice as much money. I just don't have the cash though, that's the thing. Yeah. But I can, I can service the debt. You can make the money. And... And because I can build cheaper, I can build value. I can build a lot of cash value. I I agree with you. I agree with you wholeheartedly that that being a builder, I mean, what it costs and what it's worth are two different things. And if you got to give the bank twenty percent to make that money, then just give them their money. They facilitate it. Plus. The good, the good thing about a bank, which may, it's not, this isn't your deal, because you might be able to build without a loan, but the good thing about working for a bank is... But, but, but understand that I'm still paying. Right. Let's say it takes me five years to build a house without sure. a loan. Right. It, does it, is, is it free? No. Yeah. I, I'm quality of life, right. time with kids, right. but, but I'm putting off now for something later. Right. But, but it's still costing me. Here's why I love working for the bank. Yeah. It's, they're unemotional. <laughs> it's, it's strictly an equation yeah you know 
So and when you works. want more from them, you go in there and you ask nicely and they say, let us do the equation. I'll, I'll check the equation and if it makes sense for us, then we'll do this, but you're going to have to pay me this to make it happen. And then you're just like, well, okay, or no, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, so as I, as I hear you say that, my thought is maybe what I need to do is do my house $1 at a time. But maybe I need to go build a spec and build it and sell it and build it and sell it and then take that equity and be rolling it back into my house yeah. until my house is paid for. Right. So that I'm working with a bank and it's strictly dollars and cents. It's, it's a business deal. And if I make money, then that money goes to pay for my house. Sure. But at no time do I leverage the house, mortgage it, encumber it. Right. And it may speed up instead of a five-year process. I could build two spec homes over the course of the next two years and make enough money to pay cash for the house. Or another way to look at it is get as far down your project as you can mm -hmm. with your own money. Get a third of the way there. Yeah. So that there's something legit concrete happening. And then take everything that you have to the bank and say, hey, here's where I'm at. I want another 200 to finish this. And it'll take me another eight months. Will you, will you give me a construction line of credit? Yeah. And then you just Knock get it, it done, roll it, make the payment, and go on about your life. And that might be a lot. That's what we did. Yeah. You know? And there's, that makes a lot of sense. And that way, for, until you start the construction loan, you can kind of like be cheap and go slow. Yeah, and that could be two years, it could be three. And then when you're finally like, I've had enough of being cheap and going slow, then you go get the line of credit and make it happen. Well, a million ways just to to cut it up, and I guess it's all based on skills and abilities and time and the market. Opportunity cost, that always yeah. matters. Because right now I'm finding that I can make way more money being out there working. So right. why am I dinking around at my house not making money or making money for down the road? And that's why sometimes people who have good jobs, they just... I mean, friends of mine who are builders, yeah, they just go get a loan and they just manage it, but don't do much while they're still making money doing what they're doing. And that may be the secret. I, you know, I think there's some combination there that's going to work for me. Right. I just, I don't, I don't want this economy to turn in the next two years or five years. Well, see, that's and me, and me get caught with my that's pants why down. You shouldn't build something that you couldn't sell for what you have into it. Yeah, but just make sure you won't lose. I think that if I just stay away from encumbering the property, I, I work other projects and other jobs, take the cream off the top and put that back into my house, then even if the economy tanks and I've got a shell of a house, I've got a roof over my head and somewhere to... At least you have a shell, to, you yeah. can fix it later, yeah. yeah. Okay. Buddy, do you like this house? You like those? I have the same shell. Oh, really? Nice. Would you do it again? Only for a lot of money. <laughs> Okay. You know what? I appreciate your honesty. Yes. <laughs> I'm will. interested. It's cool, but... But, but... Uh, you know... It, it is absolutely beautiful. But... You, you definitely did it the hard way. But... Let me ask you this. Do you feel that because you did it, doesn't it have a greater sense of value to you? Maybe cash-wise. But you, I mean, you know, personal pride. I learned a lot, sure. Yeah. <laughs> sense of accomplishment, yeah. something. I'm, 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 right. I'm grasping at straws here. Yeah. It's quite the house, huh?